get a 50? You can put in an expense claim. He's over at Mike Lyman's on Hollywood Boulevard. See what you can find out. Fifty bucks? Do they think I'm made of money? No, you just look like you're made of money. Oh, very good. The kid's on form. I'd say on a scale of dull to scintillating, you're a solid tedious today, which you can be pleased with. Do you ever listen to yourself? I don't have the same voices in my head as you do, Cole. Need a drink. I got the jitters again. Isn't that the cop that caught the guy that was pretending to be dead? Get this, middle of the afternoon, this crazy woman decides to set fire to the hotel she lives in. The fire brigade come and put it out. A couple hours later, she does it again. Phones up Central and says, I've set fire to my hotel twice today. You'd better come and get me. <laughs> you idiot! Did they send some uniforms around to get her? No, that's the best part. The desk sergeant, he gets his share of crank calls, says, all right, Lady Nero. There's a little sneak. That's him in the back, Cole. This is a tasty burger. Freddy, you're looking good. You're gonna help me, right? That's what I'm here for. You got the money? The 20? Sure, yeah. right here. 20? I said... You want the money or the alternative? Tell us about the reefer, Freddy. Who's he? Another good Samaritan. Answer the question. Grass comes from Tijuana. They bring in 50 pounds a week. 50 pounds? Are you hallucinating, Freddy? Get stashed at a house at 1452 North Las Palmas. Names, Freddy. The guy at the house is a spick that goes by the name Juan Garcia Cruz. But be careful. He likes guns. Now do I get my money? Do me a favor, Freddy. Spend the money on a bus ticket. You can't last forever on a snitch jacket. Let's go visit this Cruz character. 50 pounds of dope. Crazy. You know the way. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? believe his story? Sure. A hophead like Freddy would raffle his sister for his next score.
trying to find a way in. the guns. be so nice. You guys don't have to leave a mess. What happened? Dope peddler, Juan Cruz. He opened fire and, well, the rest of the story tells itself. A silver dollar. I thought they took these things out of circulation. Juan Garcia Cruz. This is his address, but this place looks like a front. Never the same, are they? Is this a drug or a village in Borneo? Doesn't appear to be in Spanish. regular meals anymore junkies feeding on popcorn and grasshoppers living on soup operator give me dispatch putting you through now Phelps one two four seven I need an address on a Parnell Soup Company, a head office or factory in the Los Angeles area. Just a second, detective. Only one address listed, 6310 Fountain Avenue. Thanks, ma'am. No good to me. I don't think this is anything.
Not much help. Junk. These are the guys keeping Juan so well stocked with soup. I think I've seen it all. Not now, Phelps. Detectives, you'll want to come meet Mr. Fickman, the neighbor. Sounds like he's got something for you. Detectives Phelps and Durrell. We were told you... Always knew they were up to no good. Son of a bitch spent more time in the chicken coop than in his house. <laughs> Thank you, sir. That's very helpful. And next time you witness suspect behavior through the crack in your curtains, please call us before something like this happens. Find anything interesting? Optimistic call. You jump like a girl. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. More soup? Who in the hell keeps a secret stash of soup? You hungry or something, Phelps? I'd say that's pretty good value for 12 cents. Factory sealed. Someone at the cannery has a lot of explaining to do. With Juan dead, we need a new suspect, Cole. Is there a pattern to the deliveries?
guy EJ seems to be bringing in most of the serious weight. The dates and times seem pretty regular. We should notify the border crossing. Those fuckers are probably in on it. Let's wait and see how this plays out. Come on, Roy. On my way. Crother says the morphine is still turning up. Makes sense. We have no idea. You're paying for every last scratch. Makes sense. We have no idea how much of the stuff Lenny shifted. There's been no comeback from Cohen as yet. Maybe Confidential Magazine is right, and Bugsy is on the slide. You read that stuff? I wouldn't say it to his face if I was you. That is one hot-tempered son of a bitch. Union in the vicinity of 211 in progress at 3rd and Union. Stand by for further unit to handle identifying. Right. Let's see if we can find out who's been over-seasoning the soup in this place. LAPD. Who owns this factory, ma'am? Mr. Parnell. Howard Parnell. I'll let him know you're here. Please, take a seat. If you don't mind, we'll come with you. If you must. You just wanted a follower, didn't you? You sly dog. I must apologize for my partner's roving eye. He hates saying goodbye, but he loves watching them leave. Give it a rest, Roy. If you could show these men in to see Mr. Parnell, Doris. They're from the LAPD. Follow me, gentlemen. You seem like a nice boy, detective. But if you have any more questions, you really should direct them toward Mr. Parnell. What is going on? LAPD, sit tight, fatso. You could be in very serious trouble. There's no reason to be rude. Take a seat, gentlemen. I'm sure we can sort this all out. Maybe you can explain why we found $5 bags of marijuana in sealed Parnell soup cans. That's an outrageous allegation. How do you explain it, Chubby? We found at least 30 cans, all sealed up tight with your label on them. Can I get a list of your employees? Of course. We have nothing to hide. Doris, can you bring me in the current employee listing? Here it is, Mr. Parnell. On the desk, please. Any name on that list that rings a bell? This is familiar. 1452 North Los Palmas. A Jorge Garcia Cruz.
The factory sealed cans we found suggest a very professional operation, Mr. Parnell. We're looking for an inside man. I know nothing about this. I want this stopped as much as you do. You must suspect someone, Mr. Parnell. Are you sure it isn't someone who stole some of my labels? That would be pretty easy to do. How are your sales, Mr. Parnell? Just fine and dandy, son. We're entering a new era of prosperity. I hope you're both big soup eaters. The dope leads here, Parnell. Your new prosperity won't mean much when the papers hear that this place is a cover-up for a dope operation. Son, that is a scandalous allegation. We fed the army during the war on products canned here, and we were proud to do so. Ever heard of Juan Garcia Cruz? Not that I know of. He has a brother employed here. You know him? We employ large numbers of Mexicans. I I'm not familiar with them all. Tell us the truth, Parnell. You and Cruz are moving dope from Mexico and packaging it up here. I am telling the truth. You don't have one scrap of evidence that says I'm behind this. If you don't ask, you never find out. That's funny, Parnell. He has the same address as his brother Juan, who we shot dead less than an hour ago. You better give me something. Look, I'm not involved in this. I'm getting enough grief from Washington. There's an investigation going on into profiteering, like a guy shouldn't be able to turn a buck while the war is on. I'm sure thousands of dead Marines sleep soundly knowing that you did okay. Tell us about Jorge Garcia Cruz. Jorge? I had no idea of his last name. His team does daily maintenance on the conveyor belts and cookers. You're being made a patsy by a dope ring, Parnell, and you're happy to sit here and let it happen. You want my help? I said I'd help. You want to call me names? You can go fuck yourself. I tried to help, but every word I say gets twisted. I'm going to talk to my lawyer, kid. You can work this one out on your own. Show us to the factory floor. Now hold on a second. You expect to storm in here, throw around a bunch of accusations, and then get a guided tour. Bingo. Let's go, fat boy. I hate seeing how things are made. This is going to be like that time I went to the slaughterhouse and couldn't eat steak for a week. This is where the produce comes in. We peel and sort all of the vegetables and add them to the line in regular quantities. Fascinating. You're a modest little person with much to be modest about. Why don't you keep quiet? I might learn something. Oh, good God. This really is turning into some nightmare school trip flashback. His name is Phelps. This is the hopper, which boils and purees the vegetables. The other hopper is for the pasta. This way, please. You're loving this, aren't you, Phelps? The soup is ladled automatically into cans. Next stage is labeling. I'd like to see the packing and dispatch area, if you don't mind. Sure. It's over here. Follow me.
This is one of our dispatchers. Sergio, right? Yes, sir. These men are from the LAPD. Sergio here records our outgoing deliveries. They all go in the book, just there on the desk. We're looking for repeat business in large amounts, Cole. What's going on, Parnell? There's enough soup going to this place every day to feed a company of Marines. What are you talking about? Can I have a look at that coin? Sure, why not? Silver dollar, right? Yeah, that's right. The markings on it say it's been taken out of circulation. Maybe. I'm not trying to buy anything with it. I like it. Brings me luck. Do you have access to the canning area? I do. But I keep to my station. Loading and unloading. Don't care much for soup. Sergio, we know the dope gets canned here. We know it happens at night. And you know I work days. And what goes on at night, I don't want to know about. What do you know about the 20th century market? Nada. I get the orders from upstairs. I send the goods where I'm told. And you don't know Juan Garcia Cruz? No, not me. Juan Garcia Cruz is dead, Lunkhead. His brother works here nights. What can you tell us, Sergio? I'm just a dispatcher. Juan was crazy. Udo loved guns. You're pretty hard to please, Placa. I think you should leave me alone now. We will be in touch, Mr. Parnell. It is imperative that things appear as normal here. Keep an eye on Sergio in case he gets tempted to blow the whistle. Thanks, I'll do that. You're going to overlook my little immigration problem, aren't you? Cheer up, fatso. We're gonna let you go on squeezing these poor saps a little while longer. Well, until some commie union types infiltrate this place. I am glad to be out of that place. I never knew fresh vegetables could smell so bad. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. All right, where to? You can drive. Where are we going? How many years have you been in Vice, Roy? More years than I want to own up to, Phelps. Do you have any idea who Rojas was talking about? The gringo runs the operation? Could be anybody. You don't expect those morons to be running the show, do you? If you ask Rojas how much a silver dollar is worth, he'd probably say 50 cents. Sit tight. Let's take a look at what's going on.
Either these customers are serious soup lovers, or I think we found our middleman. Car 11 King to KGPL. Car 11 King, go ahead. I'm requesting assistance in a B wagon at 20th Century Markets, 1558 North Highland. Numerous narcotic suspects. Code 2 only, no sirens. 11K, Roger. Okay. Cavalry should be here any minute. Chances. Sit tight. Let's take a look at what's going on. Either these customers are serious soup lovers, or I think we found our middleman. Car 11 King to KGPL. Car 11 King, go ahead. I'm requesting assistance in a B wagon at 20th Century Markets, 1558 North Highland. Numerous narcotic suspects. Code 2 only, no sirens. 11K, Roger. Okay. Cavalry should be here any minute. LAPD, nobody move! I'll take my chances. Whatever you're carrying, hand it over. I'd say he's got about half a can left. I guess that makes me a pessimist. You can't take me in. Take you in? Be glad he didn't shoot you. I wouldn't have chased you. If it was up to me, you'd be talking out of a hole in the back of your I head. I want information. Senor, I would like to help you. But I got a family in Mexico I have to provide for. And my compadres are very unreasonable. Your compadres? Turn out your pockets. I need Ray to run down these silver dollars. I need to make a deal. I need guarantees. You have identification? Sanchez Erto, Mexican. Tijuana address. Here's the deal, Erto. You give me information, and I won't give you to immigration. Give me EJ, the driver bringing in the shipments, or I'll make you for it. I run the shop. That's all I do. Tell me the goddamn truth. You are in this with the others. I told you I know them. I told you my family's at risk. What makes me part of their gang? You have a silver dollar, Erto, just like Juan. I'm sure Ernesto and the rest have them as well. The silver dollars are his mark. Whose? Give me a name. None of us are allowed to see him. His creatures carry his orders to us. If I gave you his name, I would be buried alongside my wife and children. 
If you don't give us something, you will rot in jail while your family starves on the street. Ernesto Juarez, tonight at 1 a.m. He's bringing the truck into the soup factory. Please help me, sir. Ernesto can be very cruel. Tell me about the soup cans. The soup is very popular, as you can see. It's real funny, wise guy. You want to try saying that again with no teeth? I get a delivery at 7.30 every other day from the factory. Jorge organizes everything. We know about Jorge and Juan. Juan is dead. Tell us how you know the Cruz boys. Ernesto put together this thing. He brought in Juan, Juan brought in Jorge. Continue. I was already here. Ernesto knows I'm illegal, so he threatened to report me if I didn't help. And the money is good. The gringos and the gringas, they love the reefer. And I didn't want to have to leave and start again in San Francisco. You're breaking my heart. You're under arrest, Erto. I'll speak to the DA and see if he will agree to not seize your assets or deport you. That's the best I can do. Freddie said they were moving 50 pounds a week. That's a lot of soup cans. I think this is an interstate operation. Moving dope around the country to selected grasshoppers. Local weed gets distributed in the usual way, through Pachuco street punks. Someone must know something about this drug baron character. Here they come. Let them unload the goods first. Now? Let's get them. All right, move. Move! Let's go! Everyone into position. Got your back. LAPD, put your hands where we can see them. Go, pal. Uh, Get there. Uh, uh, Stay down! Detectives, found something here you probably want to see.
One dollar per dead man. Doesn't seem like much for a human life. Tijuana address. We should see what the Federales have on it. God damn. I think we found our stash, Cole. Take a look in these boxes. thousand dollars here. Yet another silver dollar. Not now, Phelps. I'm at a loss. All clear. Look around. Give the bodies a once over while you're at it.
perimeter is up. The whole place is contained. I'm waiting, Roy. I'm busy here, Phelps. Come on, Roy. Do your job, I'll do mine.
Very minimum, another 50 pounds. Phelps, Earl, looks like quite a bloodbath. What was this all about? Drugs and money, what else? Speaking of money, where did that roll go? I picked it up for safekeeping. The department owes me 50. Ray, I have another two coins for you. Great, I've got something to show you. It's all set up on the table over here. There, take a look at these coins you've been collecting. There are letters cut into each coin, along with not legal tender. What does it mean? Those are Morgan silver dollars from the 20s. They were removed from circulation and sent for disposal. A number of smelters around the country had the contract. Look at them together. Can you work out what it says? First coin, M-A-S, the second, A-N-G, the third, K-A-Y, the fourth, M-E-T, the fifth, A-L-S, Mesanke Metals. A metal foundry. Would you like the address? Would I ever. 1034 Vine Street, Hollywood. We'll finish up here. It's already been a long night, Phelps. See if you can talk them into giving themselves up.
hope that big wad of cash doesn't weigh you down. Get your priorities straight, Phelps. We're close to bringing in one of the biggest dope cases of the year, and you're worrying about unsubstantial evidence? another way in. Back door, bro. Right? 